It's morning at the Santa Lucia Harbour, and there's very little wind for the boats going out for the start of the Dragon Race. Holland and Germany. And here's Argentine hauling out on the mooring. They will have to paddle clear of the harbour and may get a tow out towards the red course until the wind has time to get up. Out past the old Castel del Ovo. Here's the course chart with the first triangular lap of the course starting with a beat to windward, then two reaches. Wind is she. Fifteen seconds to go to the start. Dieci, nove, otto, sette, sei, cinque, quattro, tre, due, uno. Here's America at the lee end of the line with the blue jib. Denmark, Norway, Uruguay, and Ireland with Jimmy Mooney at the helm. Now they're beating away on the first long leg to windward. approaching the weather mark. Denmark in the lead, I think. No. No, Canada. There are ten Danish-built dragons racing and they all look alike. Canada sets her spinnaker for the first reach. Close quarters here. Chap on the port tack having an awful job finding room to tack onto starboard. Much safer to come to the weather mark on starboard tack in the first place. Some of these boats on port tack had to drop ten places before they could find a hole to tack into to round the mark. Now they're reaching away with Vesuvius in the background down towards the jibing mark. We've gone on ahead now. Here's the smoke flare burning at the jibing mark so that they can see in the distance where they have to go. Now they're coming towards us. Spinnaker's set shy, as they say, with a spinnaker pole right against the forestay. Canada still leading. Now a nifty jibe here. The chap on the foredeck shunts the pole across and the spinnaker mustn't fall in. Good. Still setting and they go off on the next reach to the Lee Mark. Denmark next. Here's Portugal. Very neat jibe. Everything's still setting. France. The man on the foredeck has got the Genoa rolled up round the stay so that it won't get in the way of the spinnaker. Now some of the back markers. We're looking right along the fleet and the leaders have nearly reached the lee mark now. It seems an awful long way. Now we've gone on ahead again to watch them coming towards us at the lee mark the Isle of Capri in the background, and Holland here leading Austria and Italy. Just as they come to the mark, Holland luffs Austria right out of the line of the course to try and prevent her getting an overlap. Drops her own spinnaker and then bears away. I think they have to jibe to get back. And they very nearly let Italy through in the process, so keen were they to prevent Austria getting in. Austria was left with her spinnaker wrapped round the forestay, and had an awful job getting it down. They've squared themselves up now and Holland is still just in the lead, but only just. A lot more to come round this lee mark and onto the wind.
the course chart for the second lap, a beat and a dead run. Now it's the luck of the draw which side of the course you go. If you work one side you may pick up a lucky wind or try the other side and lose it. Here's Greece with the young crown prince at the helm in the dark blue boat. By the way, one of the crew is called Odysseus, battling it out with Argentine for the lead at the moment. The lead of this group and possibly the lead of the whole race. Argentine tacks to cover her, determined to keep between Greece and the wind at all costs. And later on, several tacks later, Greece managed to get past Argentine and was leading when they came up to the weather mark. Now Greece bears away round the mark and Argentine, the white one, appears to be quite close next but she's really quite a long way to go and before she gets to the mark it may be that Italy coming in from the other side of the course, they've been working opposite sides, almost pipped Argentine for second place. Holland and Uruguay, hands ready on the foredeck to set the spinnaker for the run right down through the course. There's the American boat, dropped back a bit there. A dead run, full length. Russia underestimated the set of the tide and had to luff head to wind to clear the mark. Very nearly hit the mark, you can see her shadow moving across it. Got into a bit of a pot mess before they could bear away and set the spinnaker. There's M.O. Hungary. And Ireland. Great Britain going away ahead. Ireland sets a green and white spinnaker. Now they're all strung out down to the lee mark and we've raced ahead of them again to watch them coming towards us at the mark. This is the end of the dead run and here's Greece with a good lead now. Down spinnaker in good time only hang on to it to the last moment if you're really close pressed. Round the mark and hard on the wind for the last beat up through the course. And all he's got to do now is to keep Argentine and Italy covered until he gets to the finishing line. Here's Denmark doing a bit of covering. Greece hitting a sticky patch here. It's quite rough in parts of the bay with the swell rolling in and it's really very difficult to keep these boats sailing full speed when pitching into a big swell with not very much wind. Here's Greece coming in towards the line. He gets her winning gun. And here's Italy, second in this race, going for the extreme other end of the line. Only just able to lay the boy, but she pipped Argentine. Greece sailing in after winning this race. She won the gold medal for the whole series, Argentine the silver and Italy the bronze. Now they're paddling into the Santa Lucia harbour, in past the Savoia Yacht Club, the big hotels at the back. Here's Salamander, the British Dragon, with Ian Hannay, Jonathan Jansen, and Graham Mann at the helm. Hong Kong picking up their mooring. They swing round and lay stern onto the little jetties. There's no rise and fall of tide to speak of, so you can just walk ashore. Finland coming in, and a sail being flaked down in the foreground ready for setting again the next day.
salamander's red and white spinnaker being hosed down over the boom to get the salt out. And there are some more boats paddling in. There's still a little wind outside, but none at all inside the harbour. Now we're looking down on the Santa Lucia harbour from the top of the hotel, and the dragons are all moored up with sails being stowed away. Genoa's drying on the stays. ready for the following day's race.